Hi, my name is Larry Borowski from Greenslade and Company, and today we're going to be talking about recess penetration gauging or penetration depth gauging. If you look over here, we'll kind of go over the different styles of gauges that we have available. First style is your go no go plug gauges. Your next style is your handheld penetration gauges, very mobile. And your third style is a gauging station. What we refer to this as our recess checker system. So we'll talk about more about that in a minute, but really what you have here is you have a, a gauging station that'll incorporate all the different recesses that you have to check. You've got things like your slotted that you'll need to check. Um, you've got your six lobe or hex lobe style gauges. You've got your Phillips, which is also type 1. You've got your Posi, which is a type 1A. You've got your Robertson or Square, also referred to as your type 3. There's offset cruciform. There's, there's a ton of different recesses out there, and each one of those have a, there's, there's tamper proof that goes with some of them. There's ACR that goes with others, which is an anti cam -op rib. There is also follow-away gauging on some of that as well so we'll cover that momentarily. Alright we're going to start out with our plug gauge today. We've got a go no go plug gauge. Go is your green end and no go is your red end which you have as you might guess your green go end must enter the recess all the way and your no go red end must not enter the recess. What that gives you is a basically a functional fit of your min-max limits of that recess size. It tells you nothing about the depth of the recess. Depth is very important when it comes to driving the screws. Um, too deep or too shallow of a recess could both result in either heads popping off before you get to your tightening torque or stripping out of the recess. That's where this gauge comes into play. This is your recess penetration depth gauge. You'll either see these come in digital or dial forms. Uh, really doesn't matter. It's personal preference, really. The, the digital, what's nice about those, they have a little output port where you have a cable that can go to your computer where you can dump the, the data digitally. So, your readings, basically. On any of this stuff, you've got a probe that rides in a body that act, actuates your, your indicator. So, you want to zero this out against the face on any hard flat surface. Surface plates are your most common. We don't have one right now, but we'll just use a gauge block. So you got that, you push your origin button, everything zeroes out. You want to make sure that when you push the probe in, your number gets smaller. When it comes out, your number is getting bigger because we are measuring depth. So we take our fastener, we align our probe with our recess and get it settled in there and then we push it all up against the face and then we get a depth reading. Okay right here you have a, a gauging station this is another form of recess penetration gauging this is uh, what, what we call a recess checker system basically you've got an indicator mounted to a base with a quick change mechanism basically this allows you to get rid of the, the multiple indicators if you have multiple um, recess styles you have to check Basically, you, you pull the, the recess size you want. This happens to be a T30 go. You put it up in there. You lock it down. You use your zero plate. You press, your, press it firmly against the face. You zero your indicator. You remove it. You make sure that it, the numbers get smaller when you push in, larger when it comes out. You grab your the screw you want to measure, you align with the probe. This this here, as you can see, it goes up and down when I press it in. It's just a little something to make sure that it actually is settled into the recess. It's kind of a, a hole down. And then you can let it go and press it all the way up against the face. And then you read your recess penetration depth. Now the cool thing about this is I've got I've got this is my T30 Go. If I need to measure my fall away, 
or my no-go dimension, you just pull out your fall-away probe, tighten that back down, repeat your, your zeroing procedure. We're already set to the reverse read, so I don't have to check that again. Let me stick it in there. And then this one should not be going up in there, only a, a couple thousandths at max. So we've got a decent fall away. Some other things we can check on here. Do you see there's many different styles of, of heads? This one is for their slot depth, their slotted screws. This one I always thought was kind of neat. It's got three prongs that um, make up a gauging diameter and this is for what's called wrenching height where you have a particular wrenching height of your hex head bolts. The prongs rest up against the, the flange or the washer head, whichever style you may have. And then you press that up into your body. And it'll stop at the top of the head where the corners are fully filled. So this little guy's fairly versatile. We'll even have um, round, perfectly round cylinders for checking rivet depths. Um, the ones I don't have with me today are your Phillips, your Posies, um, your offset cruise forms, things like that. But those all fit right in here. Quick change in and out. Again, it's got the electronic data feed for your computer. Thank you for tuning in to our recess penetration gauging program and we hope that it was very informative for you. If you have any questions or need to know any more information about any of this stuff, um, technical or specific, the, um, you can give us a call at 817-870-8888 or visit us online uh, www.greensladencompany.com or just shoot us an email at sales. Um, we're always here to help with whatever your, uh, your fastener gauging needs are. Thank you.